Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts, and today I want to teach you how to make this beautiful butterfly bracelet. This bracelet is an original design by Boredom Bracelets on Instagram. She has very kindly allowed me to make a tutorial for her bracelet on YouTube and has also given me so many tips on how to make this bracelet better. So huge, huge shout out and thank you to her. If you don't know her, you should definitely check her out on Instagram. She makes amazing bracelets and also sells on Etsy, including butterfly bracelets. As I already mentioned, her name is Boredom Bracelets on Instagram, but I'll also leave her link in the description for you. Before I get into this tutorial, I want to say a few things about this. This is absolutely not a beginner bracelet. I have 12 years of experience with bracelets and I still found this to be quite challenging. This is a very fiddly bracelet. You really have to sort of wiggle around with the knots, make sure you push them up into this exact position. It can be quite difficult to do this. So if you're a beginner, I don't recommend making this. I recommend working your way up to it with some other bracelets and then maybe coming back to this tutorial once you feel ready. We will also be using square knots in this tutorial, which is not something that is commonly used in bracelets, but I will show you how to do those later on in the video and there are also plenty of tutorials in case my tutorial isn't enough for you. But all that being said, let's get on with the tutorial. So you are going to choose five colors for this bracelet, one color for the base, and then four colors for the butterflies themselves. The length of string that you need depends on you and your needs, depends on the strings that you're using, your knotting style, your knot tension, how long you want the bracelet to be. I would say you need about a meter of string. If you are doing a loop, and that's what I'm going to be doing, then double that, make it two meters, since you're going to be folding the string. And you need two strings per color. But once again, if you are doing a loop, then only cut one string per color, just double the length and then fold it to create two strings. So as I said, this bracelet uses some knots that you may not be familiar with if you're just making regular bracelets. Specifically, I'm going to be using the square knot, which is a knot that's commonly used in macrame. I'll show you in detail how to make that knot, but if you're still confused after my tutorial, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube specifically on how to make square knots. This isn't the only way to make this bracelet, by the way. The original creator of this technique, which as I said, is linked in the description, used a different method, but I found that square knots work better for me and we discussed it and she said that I could share that. So let's talk about it. First, we're going to separate our white strings and all the other strings are gonna get bunched together in the center. We're gonna make a square knot with these two white strings onto this entire bunch of strings together. To make a square knot, take the string on the left, pull it through underneath the string that you're making the knots onto, so under this entire bunch, but over this one, it's on top of this one. So under this bunch, but over this one. Then grab your other string, the one that's on the right, and you put it over the bundle on top and through the loop that was created by the first string. Let's pull it through. So the string on the left went under and then over the white string, and then the one on the right went over the bunch and then through the loop. And now you just have to tighten. You wanna tighten it carefully since this is the first knot. That is what half of a square knot looks like. Let's make the other half. The other half is exactly the same, but mirrored. So this time we take the string on the right, we go under the bunch and then over the string on the left. The string on the left goes over the bunch and through the loop. And then we pull it through and tighten it. There we go, that is a full square knot. Let me show you how to do that one more time and then I'm going to speed the process up. So once again, let's start with the left string. It goes under the bunch over the white string on the right. The white string goes over the bundle and through the loop. And then we just pull on the ends to tighten the knot. Then we do the same thing, but opposite. The string on the right goes under the bunch, over the string on the left. The string on the left goes over the bunch, through the loop on the right. Right, so that is how you do a square knot. Continue to do it for as long as you want. I'm probably going to make round five, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the butterfly. All 
Alright, so once you've done however many knots you want, put the white strings to the side and separate the middle. So you've got one string of each colour on one side and one string of each colour on the other side. We need to get the white strings into the centre. We're not going to be doing full knots, we're just going to be doing half knots. So take the left string, do half of a forward knot on the left bundle. Speeding up here because I assume you already know how to make forward and backward knots, that's beginner stuff. Take the right string and do half of a backward knot on the right bundle. Now put all the strings on the right, including the white string, off to the side. We're going to focus on the left strings for now. Separate the colour that you want to start with. I'm going to start with the darkest colour here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do seven backward forward knots with the colour string onto the other colour strings. The white string doesn't play a part here, just the main colour that you are using onto all the other colours. Seven backward forward knots. All right, so this bracelet is really fiddly. You have to really try, really fiddle around with it to try and get it to look how you want. And it's quite difficult to do that, but let's attempt it. So I want to fold the first wing, the first half of the wing of the butterfly. I'm literally just going to fold it um, and fiddle around with it as much as I can to get it to be the shape that I want it to be. But once you've kind of gotten a basic idea of a shape, grab your white string, which is going to be the string you're making a knot onto, and the colour string, and do a forward backward knot with this string onto the white. But the way that you're going to do this is the first half of the forward knot you're going to push really far up because you're trying to get that wing to fold in on itself and get really high up there on the white string, but then you're going to be careful with the second half of the knot as well to sort of position it in the same place. You want to secure this knot really far high up on the white string so that the wing actually folds properly. And then if you see that it's a little bit too low, you maybe want it higher, push, push up on that. I can't say that I'm great at this, but fiddle around with it and you'll get the hang of what you want to do. Next step is six more backward forward knots onto this bundle with the coloured string. Okay, so now that I've done that, we can see that that wing went all the way down and we have to sort of smush it all the way back up again. Thankfully, it fiddles quite well, so it's not that much of a problem, but it is really fiddly. You're gonna have to adjust. This is why I said that this isn't an easy bracelet. Like there's a lot of practice and a lot of meticulous sort of like trying to get it in place that comes with this bracelet specifically, but let's continue. The second half of the wing, let's fold that as well. You don't really need to do this. You can also just, start making the knot, but it helps, I think. But yeah, we do the same thing again. Do a forward backward knot with the color string onto the white string. Sort of try pushing it up all the way in. That also pushes the first knot up, so that's a good thing. Push it all the way in and then with the second half of the knot also. It looks a mess, <laughs> but it will sort itself out. Okay, see, you want to avoid doing what I accidentally did here. See how that string drags? That color string is dragging all the way up. You don't want that. You want to eliminate that dragging. So let me unpick that knot. So undo the second half of the knot. You should only leave the first half because the first half is what's responsible for that dragging. And um, let's try this again. You want to eliminate that dragging. So and like I said, a lot of fiddling. And then you can also use your nails, sort of push it up a little bit and uh, out. All right, let's stop paying attention to this side, bring the other side in, separate the white string from the colors, and then also separate the color that you want to use. And we're going with the same thing here, but opposite. We start with seven forward backward knots with this color onto the rest of the colors, and then we're going to continue. All right, so this part is genuinely tricky. We've already got the left butterfly and it's kind of a bit of a mess. So we can't really see very well what we're doing anyway, but let's try. This is what I was saying. It's fiddly, it's messy, but we will get there. <laughs> Fold the wing again, trying to give it some shape so it's easier to actually make that knot that I'm going to in a second. Then take the white string and do a backward forward knot with this string onto the white string. Same like we did on the other side, but backward forward this time. And once again, pull with the first half knot, 
pull hard to the top because you wanna get it as close to the top as possible. And after that, do six forward backward nuts onto the bundle again. All right, back at it with the wing. Let's try and fold it, fiddle around with it a little bit. And once again, with the string, we do a backward forward knot onto the white. And as always, trying to get it as high up as we can while it's being so messy. Oh my God. All right, let's pull all the strings down and have a look at what's happening there. All right, butterfly shape achieved. If you want to adjust, which you probably will, then make sure you keep your white strings kind of tight and then just push with your nail up, down, left, right, whatever, and adjust the shape that you are making. But then once you're happy with the shape, pull the white strings off to the sides and continue making your square knots. And that's it really. Those are the two steps that you have to repeat. Making square knots, then making the butterfly, except when you make the next butterfly, you might wanna choose a different color, of course, depending on what color combination you are going for. And then at the end, I'd probably also make a bunch of square knots and then do whatever ties you want. So I'm gonna go off camera, finish this bracelet, and I'll catch up with you once I'm done. And there we go. This is what the bracelet looks like once it's finished. I just did simple twisted ties at the end. If you want a tutorial for that, I have a separate one. I'll leave that linked in the card and in the description. And I think the bracelet turned out looking quite well. I did make some mistakes. Like in this one, for example, I should have pushed the second knot a little bit higher. You can see too much of the white here. And you can say the same for a couple of the other butterflies as well. But overall, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. And this is what the other side looks like. Some people might actually prefer the other side since it's a little bit more neater and you can't really see the knots. But either way, I think this is a really cute bracelet, very summery, and you can choose all kinds of different color combinations to make this look exactly how you want it to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said at the beginning of the video, definitely check out the original creator on Instagram. She makes amazing bracelets and is definitely worth the follow. If you have any questions about the tutorial, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters whose names are going to appear on screen. Thank you guys so much for your support. It is with your support that I'm able to create these videos. If you also want to become a patron and support the channel, then there is a link in the description where you can sign up and get exclusive perks for your donations. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.